Hello, Daisy here from Daisy Victoria, and today I'm going to be testing out a remote I got for my camera. So I will show you what the remote looks like first of all. This is an Amazon Basics remote, very affordable. It works with a lot of different DSLRs. I have the Rebel T5i, so you can always check and make sure it works with your specific camera. I'll link it in the description. I chose to get a remote for my camera because, well, I really love working with people and like to me photo shoots are just like a fun thing I can do with friends too. Sometimes I need photos and I just simply cannot travel to where people are or someone's not available to travel to me or maybe like I have a dress that's made to fit me and I can't find a model specifically with my measurements. So with all of those things, I just think that this remote is gonna make things a little bit easier. So if I do need photos taken right away, I can go ahead and just find a spot nearby and shoot myself. That sounds really funny. <laughs> I can photograph myself. So I've done photo shoots by myself before and I've had limited success due to the focus limitations of the timer on the camera. And there are some ways to get around that. Um, what I've chosen to do is to try using the remote. So let's do it. So I started this out with no makeup or anything because I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes of the whole process. So it's sort of like a BTS, uh, you know, doing the whole shoot kind of thing. I'm going to put on false lashes and I just want to take a moment to tell you guys about the eyelash glue I use. This is made by Duo and I use this one because I am allergic to the normal one. <laughs> so I found this eyelash glue. It does not include um, formaldehyde or latex, which are the two ingredients in many eyelash glues that people are allergic to. I don't know which one I am allergic to, but I know that normally I can only wear false lashes once and then I have to take a few days off because my eyelids get all red and puffy and it's really, really annoying. So this one though, none of it, no reaction whatsoever. So if you're like me and you're sensitive to one or both of those ingredients, um, definitely get this one. You will not be sorry and I'll link it below. Alright, so I've got my makeup done and I've got my wig on and I'm ready to get dressed and I won't be filming that part because I don't think they really want that on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, yeah, watch for a magical transformation. And ta-da, I magically changed. So now I'm ready to drive around my neighborhood dressed like a gothic princess and uh, go to one of my photo spots. So I take long walks around my neighborhood and um, I kind of make note of where I think would be a nice photo wall. So I'm gonna test them out today for the first time actually taking photos. Okay, so I'm here at one of the spots I found, and I'm going to take some pictures, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so that spot was a little bit challenging with the sunlight this time of evening. It's about 6.45. Um, we're not at sunset yet because it's summer still. So I'm going to try this other spot. There are dogs in this area, <laughs> so they are barking at me but um, they seem to be quiet right now. Um, just the thing you deal with shooting in your neighborhood. So um, I like this kind of green backdrop for my black gown. So um, I happen to know of a few of those from my many long walks. So we'll try shooting at this one. low back 
battery light and that is my signal to be done. I'm actually feeling really hot right now. It is still summer and I am in the southern United States where it is gruelingly hot. Um, I'm also wearing a black ball gown and a wig which is like a plastic hat. So I think it's a good time to finish up. I'll play with the photos I got and see what I can do with those. I look forward to getting better and better at photo shooting myself. Hold for car. <laughs> I'll put the finished photos in here so you guys can see them. And as always, don't forget to follow me on social media. And if you want to get things first and get all the VIP exclusives, you can follow me on Patreon as well. to be back home in the air conditioning. So now that I'm inside and cooled off a little bit, a few thoughts on the remote so I can actually review it for you guys. I really like it. Uh, that's a thumbs up for me. So I am not knowledgeable on all the different remotes that are out there. However, this was so much better than trying to take photos of myself with just the tripod and the 10 second timer. So uh, yeah, I think the remote is worth the small investment. One thing that was really cool that I didn't even expect is that the remote can actually shoot through a little bit of my clothing. So I was actually able to hold my ball gown skirt and still shoot through some fabric. It's really, really easy to use. You just hit a button. I mean, I think anyone could use it. Um, especially if you're already using a DSLR, I think you can use the remote too. If you guys want to try it out, I will put the link uh, down below and you can buy it on Amazon and yeah, you can join me in my adventures in shooting. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!